I could take the long route to explain why we are here, why we are going to discuss cultural resistance, why the Indian Writers Forum was set up, and why many of us have spent the last few months contacting people, badgering friends, and doing something quite new to us, which is helping construct two websites. But I'll take the shortcut. I want to summon two figures for us to keep in mind this evening. Two people from a long list, a list that is growing, sadly, longer every day and growing in variety. The two people I have in mind are M.M. Kalburgi and Pirmal Murugan. The first, M.M. Kalburgi, a writer, a scholar, and a rationalist, murdered for his work and views. The other, Perumal Murugan, a novelist, a poet, and a teacher, hounded into declaring publicly that Perumal Murugan, the writer, is dead. I'm sure that our speakers this evening and the audience will have quite a few things to say about cultural resistance. But I want to suggest a simple definition of cultural resistance as a starting point for this evening, which is that as long as we are alive, no writer, no artist, no scholar, no citizen should be murdered for his or her views. And as long as we can raise our voices, no pen, no brush will be put down. Because we know that the Indian mosaic, a cultural mosaic that thinks and speaks in many languages, belongs to all of us. Not any government, not the right wing, not vandals and goons, and not the haters of difference, debate, and dissent. How then do we keep this mosaic intact, leave alone flourish? We can only do it through cultural resistance. And it was with this thought this determination that we set up, several of us worked together to set up the Indian Writers Forum. The idea of the Indian Writers Forum was to bring people together so that no one feels isolated or intimidated because writers are, artists are. Anyway, their work has a certain nature of isolation, but that intimidation should make that worse, and that we should have the strength in numbers. So not only do we support each other, but we also say, as a forum, that we will do what we do best, which is write, paint, make films, music, and so on. We have several plans we thought of uh, encouraging people all around India, friends, to hold seminars, discussions, uh, express support to uh, artists and writers, citizens in trouble. We have already got quite a lot of support, uh, considering it's just been a few months. We have writers and artists from all over contributing to the two websites we've set up. We have a writer friend in Kerala who plans to set up a small local group and who could work in affiliation with us. And the point really is to make interconnections between groups, people, and this is where people have helped. They've also helped their work with their, uh, with their money, 
and so on. But really, all this is just a modest first step. And the forum and its object of cultural resistance will only work if everyone here joins in, takes it up, if everyone here contacts people, brings more and more people to the forum, and so that the forum is finally, not only does it belong to everyone, but everyone owns it, except, of course, those who think the rishis did cutting-edge science. Pardon. Pardon me for what I have written. For what I could not write. For what I am likely to write. And for what I may never write. Pardon me for the trees flowering. For the flowers fruiting. For having hoarded so much of gold and water and spring inside the earth. Pardon me for the waning moon. For the setting sun. For the movement of the living. For the stillness of the non-living. Pardon me for filling the earth with so much colour. The blood with so much red. The leaf with forest. The rain with sky. The sand with star. And my ink with dreams. Pardon me for filling words with so much meaning. Dates with so much history. For having hidden today inside yesterday. And tomorrow inside today. For creating the creator. Who fills gestures with dance. And nature with symbols. Pardon me for the earthquake and the tempest, the wildfire, and the raging sea. The earth is a damaged machine. I am not someone who can repair it. I am a king without a country. A god without a weapon. A life without a tongue. Invent a god who does it ask for your head. Invent the fearless man. Invent language. Invent alphabet. Invent, Invent language. language. Invent, Invent alphabet. alphabet. Thank you.